very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so i'm not only happy because my weekly analysis has went exactly as i expected uh, also because our premium group is doing really so well this week i mean look today what happened look at all these green results we have made this day i mean amazing really this is what i want to see um look at that euro and zd from yesterday's signal it has uh, reached 120 pips of profit euro and zd from today's signal 30 pips of profit and later on 60 pips of profit euro euro pound 50 pips of profit so you can see all of them most of them have reached actually take profit number two making at least 50 pips of profit for each of them and we had only one signal we closed with a loss of 20 pips now of course again i'm telling you not every day will be so good like that but definitely today was really great and i'm very happy because we have received a lot of really great uh, feedbacks from the members they are glad especially those who have joined recently look at that this is uh, from today july 21 um He's uh, thankfully happy for the service and he's thanking us and thanking Angela for these great signals that he, she have sent. So, yes, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, we are really doing so well. And yeah, this guy here, he have uh, made $40 only by $400 account. So uh, he almost have recovered the fees for the uh, Forex signals. And he have made also 10% profits from his account yes we are doing really so well and i'm very happy and glad to see these nice and happy feedbacks from the members that is really what i wanted to see and actually guys um if you are maintaining a proper money management and preparing for the losses you will always enjoy these prof uh, profitable days uh, and you will just uh, start growing your account with our service so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so right now let's go to the midweek analysis and let's check out the market what happened actually uh, the euro usd has went exactly as i thought except for it didn't reach my entry point it just reversed um yeah like almost 20 pips before reaching my entry point and it just went uh, all the way to the tech profit level making so far um 90 pips and it actually, it actually went more to make 130 pips now so what's next what's next with the euro usd now let me tell you something um let me just delete this the old signal and let's move right now to the uh, weekly chart okay so now on the weekly chart we can see that we have a strong key resistance level right here on 1.15691 uh actually it might be higher let me just check no that's it yes uh i'm just checking it is there as i expected uh, hold on guys let me just be sure and uh, yeah i think that's yes 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 sorry that is the key resistance level uh it's on 1.16044 i believe that the euro st is gonna uh, is still gonna continue the rise all the way until it reach that level so we can expect from the euro st to rise for almost 85 or 83 pips uh, before it start the reversal to retest the broken resistance so as i said we're having right here the resistance level on 1.14503 and the euro usd since it has made the breakout from that resistance and we also have here a resistance trend line which has been breaking out so the euro usd is actually going to continue rising until it hit that resistance level as i said which was also a strong key resistance level in the past uh, it was on 1.16044 and once the market reached that level, it's gonna fall all the way to retest that broken resistance level. And if we are lucky enough, it might even fall more to the key support level right here on 1.13530 to retest also the broken resistance trend line. Meaning uh, we are gonna have to wait for the Euro USD to, con to complete the rise, to complete the form and once it finished the pattern we can uh, also we can short the power uh, the euro usd so in other words the euro usd should be good for the sell sell the euro usd at the level 1.16044 exactly right here and let's just draw for you the safe zone where we can keep the trade running until it goes in the loss 
uh, so the cell is right here let me just be sure because I see there is a lot of lines here and we can keep it until it just exceed the next resistance so we're talking about no that's a lot uh, that is the resistance level exactly actually let me just uh, tell you my eyes is here my eyes focusing on that resistance level so we can uh, expect for it to be ranging at that resistance level 454 pips and uh, let me just uh, draw for you the shape of the safe zone that is exactly what we can expect from the uh, euro usd uh, please wait for the right moment so we can start shorting the pair now moving to the pound usd oh my god why they are mixing like that <laughs> okay that's so messy uh, pound USD has actually that is not my take profit level it was 2.6 2.6 it was right almost there it's almost here anyway uh, we can see that the uh, signal has been sent for the for buying the pound USD at that level on 1.2374 Thankfully the signal was very good and I have received good messages on Facebook actually from members who have entertained so much uh, or so early high profits from this signal They have made more than 130 pips, which was our take profit level and the pair is still rising so far for so far for 230 pips of profit I'm glad that signal has worked perfect now what's next now what's next is also similar we need to wait for the pair to rise a little bit more let me just delete that get rid of the old signal so we will not get confused and exactly right here we can expect from the pair to rise for another 62 pips before we can start shorting the pair because obviously we're having right here a resistance number one and it was really strong key resistance level remember i'm on the daily candles so that strong resistance now how do we know it was a strong resistance level not just a normal resistance actually that is uh, based on the price action when you see a resistance consists of two candles like that or like that you can tell that this resistance is not really strong because the market has made two attempts on each time i mean the market has made one attempt here and another attempt here to break out of the resistance and same here as well we can see two candles at the level of the resistance but right here what we can see here is a pin bar and the market has reversed immediately once it has touched that level of the resistance on 1.28121 that indicate a strength really st strong level of the resistance the market could not even reach that level again to retest it so therefore we can start actually short the pound usd exactly when the market create a resistance number two not only that because also we are having right here a resistance trend line like that which has been breaking out recently and we can expect from the market to fall down for almost 200 ones, uh, 216 pips to actually retest the broken resistance so that, that being said we can start shorting the pound USD at the level 1.28121 and let's draw for you the safe zone so we can keep the trade running to the maximum i think that's enough yes that's that's actually more than enough let me go to the four hour chart so i can see it clearly uh so many lines so many lines i'm getting really confused now uh it's a lot actually let me just draw it at the level of that previous support level exactly right here so we can expect for it to be ranging for almost 50 pips before we decide to close it with the loss and my god there is a lot of lines i for some reason um, the lines and shapes are mixing with the other pairs when i'm moving to the bigger time frames i think this is normal okay oh my god oh shit oh shit let me just uh, go back again right here okay good and back to the daily candles sorry my friends sorry sorry forgive me for what's happening uh almost like that no it was actually bigger than that like that okay that should be fine that should be fine exactly like that and right here okay that's good whatever 
it is it is what it is sell at 1.28121 and i forgot actually to mention that the tech profit for for the uh, euro usd anyway for the tech profit we can expect from from the pair to keep falling as i said to hit the previous resistance level and that is gonna be our tech profit tech profit is gonna be 1.26523 that is for the pound usd which was the previous level of the broken resistance back to the euro usd because i forgot to mention for you the uh, tech profit level man that is ugly okay the tech profit level is right here at the previous broken resistance tech profit at 1.14503 so we can look for almost 152 pips profit from the euro usd <laughs> what the hell <laughs> there is so many so many lines oh my god oh my god oh my god that's not good uh and from the pound usd we can look for almost 160 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna make them all uh let's move to the AUD usd AUD usd he has uh, also did not reach my entry point and the pair has reversed i think like I think like 12 or 13 pips before it touched my entry point. However, the pair went exactly as I expected and it just kept rising for so far it has went for almost 170 pips. Now, what's next with the AUD USD? One second. So back to the AUD USD. Now what we can see on the daily candles is that the resistance uh, on one point, sorry, um, on 0 0.70646 has been broken out from. Uh, has been breaking out and now what we can expect next from the AUD USD actually what we can see right here is the resistance level it was really strong resistance at 0 0.71995 and also we can expect from the AUD USD to rise for again 63 pips before it start the reversal therefore that's gonna be really a good level to start shorting the pair so we can sell the AUD USD at 0 0.71995 and let me draw for you the safe zone again go to the day weekly candles and as you can see my friends we are having right here the next resistance that is exactly where we can expect from the pair to be ranging from uh, for uh, go back to the to the daily candles right now and let me just draw for you the safe box where we can expect to keep the trade running like that okay forgive me for the technical issues we are facing today with the analysis and uh, that is gonna be uh, the previous resistance right here which has been breaking out is gonna be our next tech profit level and please don't keep the thread running for longer than that so we can expect at least 150 pips profit from this signal tech profit is gonna be 0 0.70343 again hopefully this signal is gonna work well and we are gonna make some good profits with this signal usd cad the usd cad i mean it really it really pa so painful to my heart because the pair has reversed only like three or four pips before reaching my entry point but it went way all the way in the profit so deep in the profit so far it went for almost 175 pips of profit so yeah um yeah it is what it is uh, i hope you guys have entertained uh, the profits from this signal if you have entered it by any ha uh, by any chance so anyway what's next with the usd cad going to the daily candles right now what we can see let me delete that okay, get rid of all this mess now on daily candles we can expect from the pair to keep falling until it hit that strong support level right here let me just be clear about it it's exactly right here we can expect from the USD cat to fall for another 54 pips, actually even more. Let me just do it correctly. Yes, like that. So we can expect for it to fall for another 61 pips before we can start buying the pair. As we can see, we're having right here the strong key support level on daily candles on uh, 1.33753. And if we look at the left, if we check the market history, actually, we can see that this level was also a strong key resistance uh level meaning uh it was uh, so it was also right here oh my god what's happening today guys please forgive me i'm doing my best really so we can see that it was also a strong support level right here 
therefore we can uh, expect from the market to reverse at that previous support and as i said we are having right here a support number uh, this is actually a support number two that is right here support number one now let me tell you something when you are dealing with the bigger time frames such as daily or monthly or even weekly um, the counts for support number one and two is not really working the same way on the 15 minute time frame or the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame when we are when we are planning to buy we are only focusing on the support number one or support number two meanwhile when we are dealing with the daily weekly monthly candles it is different because right now it's reaching a, a either a high uh, on demand level or supply and now we can see that the market is reaching a strong support level right here we can expect from the market to actually reverse at that level to retest the broken support level before it decides to either uh, continue the, the fall or it's going to continue the rise what we are really sure from that this support level is going to be retested or i cannot say we are really sure from i mean we are just assuming or expecting from the market uh, in its normal behavior that it, ha it has actually to retest the broken support that being said we can expect to start buying the usd cad at the level 1.3353 and we can keep that red running until it hit the take profit level at the previous support which has been breaking out at 1.34868 now also let me draw for you the safe zone where we can keep the trade running is going to be ranging at that support level for almost 60 pips uh, unfortunately it is what it is so let me just draw the shape for you that is the safe box where we can start where we can keep the trade running and honestly i really doubt that it's gonna even reach uh, the inside of the box i mean i am expecting from the pair to start reversing exactly at the buy level i have mentioned going to the usdgpy for the usdgpy uh, also my signal has worked very well i think i think yes uh, it has went look at that the pair has reached the edge of the safe box i have drawn for you and it did not exceed it that's very good that is the actually this is the that is the reason we are using the safe box it's very useful very uh, clear to tell you exactly where you can expect uh, the trade to be running so anyway uh, the usd gpy is running so far in 32 pips of profit and let me tell you something right here that usd gpy is actually going to continue the fall until it hit that previous support we can expect for, for the pair to continue falling for another 64 pips so therefore what i'm going to do i'm not going to change anything with the usd uh, usd gpy except for the take profit level I'm gonna actually change it for this for uh, for today okay we can expect from the pair to continue falling actually even more than that let me go to the four hour chart just to be sure yeah it should be right here yes 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 perfect the pair is gonna continue the fall for another 60 uh, 64 uh, pips so let me just uh, tell you that we will change the take profit level it's gonna be no more one 106.070 is gonna be 120 so the signal for the usd gpy is still active and let's please keep it running usd chf has just touched my take profit level amazing I'm, I'm so glad and if we go to the four hour chart we can see that the signal has the market has reversed exactly at the level i have given for the sell and it went so far in 78 uh, pips of profit i really hope you guys have enjoyed these profits and i'm, I'm really willing to see your feedbacks on youtube and facebook just tell me what do you think i mean i just love to see um the impact of my effort here on this channel i just want to see people actually enjoying making profits with the uh, in, with using our signals and yeah just please if you can send me your feedback what do you think about the uh, the signals uh, on on the YouTube, I would really appreciate uh, to hear you f uh, to hear from you. So, uh, what we will do with the USD CHF? Actually, the USD CHF is gonna continue the fall. So, if you have the trade running, you can keep it running all the way until it ha it hit the previous support level. Because actually, from that point, we can start buying the USD CHF. However, um, 
I don't want to send the signal to buy the USCCHF now. So I'm going to just change the take profit level. You can either keep the trade running or move your stop loss to be just above that previous support level. Let me just tell you. Uh, the take profit is going to be 0 0.92527. So we have changed the take profit level. If you have the signal still opened and it's still running, please move your stop loss to be just at that previous support. Actually, no. Hold on. I, I want to change that statement. Because there is a chance that the pair might actually rise a little bit, hit that previous support, and then continue the fall. Therefore, I'm ha I have to change the statement. And nothing will be changed for the USDCHF except for the take profit level. If in case you did not close the trade, please keep it running and keep that uh, just change the take profit level. USDCHF is going to continue the fall to hit that previous support at 0 0.92. 527 and from that point actually uh, the USCCHF should be uh, good for the buy and in, if that happens we can keep the trade running until the market reach that previous support to retest the level anyway for the USCCHF I just only changed the take profit level now moving to the gold the gold has went exactly as I thought except for it did not reach my entry point uh, it reversed like 30 pips before reaching it. Anyway, the the gold has continued to rise. The gold is still rising. Now, now regarding gold, we need to move to the monthly chart, and I'm telling you guys, definitely, in the in the upcoming few weeks, uh, the gold is gonna reach that level of the resistance at 1,911. It's gonna reach it, and there is a chance that the pair is gonna even exceed. Uh, the price of 2000 and that is going to be the highest ever the gold has reached so that being said we know that the gold is going to continue the rise for sure so we just need to know exactly where we can expect to buy the pair now uh, let me just scroll to the left i don't know if it can even reach it i'm just scrolling and right here okay so that is the previous resistance and the pair is right here the current price is right here so we just need to mark the strong support level where we can expect to start actually buying the pair again so we are having right here it's gonna almost 300 pips we need actually to just locate the strong support level like that I think that's another yeah 180 pips let me go to back to the current uh, price exactly as I thought yes just to be sure I just marked the level so Actually, the best thing we can do, my friends, is wait for the gold to retest the broken resistance level right here at 1,820. 1, and the problem here is we cannot short the gold. Um, don't short the gold, please, because most likely the gold is going to continue the rise. Actually, I even doubt it's going to reach that previous resistance. We're just hoping because now there are there is some news that Mr. Trump is about to announce uh, a happy news about the vaccine for the COVID-19 and actually that might be very good for the currency so therefore the gold might actually fall in case that happens but I'm sure the gold eventually gonna continue the rise all what we can expect from the gold is the retest of the broken resistance and that's it that being said and uh, just for the safety for the members and the followers I'm gonna set the buy level on the broken resistance at 1820.60 and we can keep the trade running until it hit the previous resistance level right here exactly like like that okay good so it might be ranging for almost 72 pips that is our safe zone where we can keep the trade running for the gold and for the take profit level, it's going to be exactly the current resistance level. So we can expect uh, almost 200 pips profit from this signal. So the take profit is going to be one th uh, on the level 1841.40. There goes your signal for the market this week. And for the gold, I think this signal is going to be active by next week, honestly speaking. Unless we see um, a strong bearish momentum and the market is going to quickly retest the broken resistance however the bears really controlling the market right now 
sorry the bulls the bulls are controlling the market and the bears are not really able to take the gold down at any previous resistance we can see that this resistance on 1786 has not been reached and also we can expect from this resistance uh, on the 1820 to not be reached as well but we cannot we cannot i cannot tell you to start buying the gold right now if you want my honest opinion let's go to the one hour chart my honest opinion my friends and i don't want to say that just to for your safety uh, is we can start actually buying the gold at 1834.2 because we're having right here a previous support number one and it might be falling to that support level and continue the rise uh, that being said only because we are uh, looking at the history of the, co of the of the gold and the bullish momentum is so strong but however again i'm telling you for the safety of the followers i'm not going to give the signal on that level but if you are willing to take the risk and if you are just um hopefully gonna make some profits out of it you can start buying if you want at 1834 However, I don't want to take any responsibility for the signal. I'm just telling you my personal advice that it has been given that the buy on 1820 was given only for the safety for the followers. But if you want, you can start buying right here at the support. Anyway, uh, really, uh, this week was uh, going so well. It's amazing week. Uh, only from two days only, we have made really a lot of profits and hopefully the remaining days is going to bring us even more profits. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.